Hello, and welcome to this tutorial about converting a LEGO Digital Designer model to a POV ray. To get started, we are going to need LEGO Digital Designer, LDD to POV ray converter, and POV ray. So, first we go into LEGO Digital Designer. I'm going to open up one of my creations and show you how to position the creation in the form that you want. So after you open this creation, you're going to drag it into the position that you want. I think this is a very nice position right here. So the problem is that we need to save it, but we haven't changed anything, only the view. So we need to drag the piece over, place them, save, drag the piece over again, which is what you'll do on any larger model if you want to do this. So now we exit out of the little design and we're going to LDD to pop ray converter. When we first get this, we're going to need to go into settings and then set up paths. And then you're going to need to um, copy and paste this string of text from the description and this string of text from the description as well and put it in the right spots because this will create and this will create the path from LDD to pop ray converter to pop ray. Now we go into pop ray, we go to options, or actually we go to tools, edit master pop ray dot I and I and then we add this line of text to the bottom line, which I will also have in the description as well. So, now we can go on to the pop ray converter. Now we can start to convert our different models that we want. So we'll browse for the model and microfig. That's the one we were just going to select that and click open. And so now it will be up there. You can change many different things with there are many different options, like you can check this, uncheck this stuff, if you want to do this. Position variances are like if you have a bunch of random one by one tiles, it'll offset them randomly, like they were just placed on there without very much vision. It'll, that'll help with that, make it look more real. You can set the colors and the case plates. You can change the camera. The lights, so you can change like where the lights are and stuff like that. You can change how much shadow, and you can change the colors and the materials, the LDD materials and decorations. So in Lego Digital Designer, we've got this um, decoration on a set. For example, if you have like a, st a sticker, you can swap that decoration out with your own and make it look very custom. Outlines, just outline the bricks and rendering. Um, this is the tab that you'll be using the most. The width and height are automatically set to the width and height of your screen. And since I'm using a very large monitor, those are very high. So I just brought this one down to 720, so it'll be 720. So you want to, the first time I did this, it took 13 hours and it was really long. And I really didn't like it. So right now we're I would want to just turn this quality down until this bottom line disappears so that it goes a little faster. And then another way to do this is to go in the model and drag this um, bar, it's usually up here, drag it down to here. Because that way it will only show you visible bevels, which are just kind of slopes and curves. So there's a lot of ones that you can't see, and so there's no need to render those. You just need to render the ones that you can see. So that's all there is to it. It's really that easy, but the problem is, is that when I when I click convert, it brings up this, which is good. I click OK. Now most of you will want to say, Oh yeah, sure, let's render it now. 
some people say to click no and then go into pop right and select the, the folder that it's in and select it and then you're from there. The first time I did that, I didn't have very much luck with that, so I just clicked yes. But there's a problem. I'm not going to click yes right now. In fact, I'm not going to show you it rendering because if I show you task manager, Okay, you see this CPU column right here? Well, Pavre uses quite a lot of CPU when it's running. And so does this. This one uses 5.4%. Pavre uses like, I don't know, 97%. So if it goes over 100%, your computer will go, your computer screen will go black and you won't be able to do anything. So while this, while Pavre is running, Converting the image and rendering it. You need to not use your computer and just go do something else like play outside of the book. And so that is why I cannot show you it being rendered right now. So I hope that you have learned a lot from watching this tutorial and that you will be able to do this on your own. Thank you and goodbye.